It's a brand new day. What's up, guys? I'm Arbert, and I hope you guys are ready to get your gear on because we are going on a hiking adventure. I hope you've had your breakfast because we are going to be putting in the work. Join me as we embark on a journey through the eyes of the son of Bako, only right here on Stories from the Heart. Meet Sabariman, a Kampong Bako local who became a tourist guide in 1999. Now at the age of 43, he is extremely knowledgeable when it comes to wildlife, especially reptiles. Exploring the outdoors with him is like having your very own mobile Wikipedia. Look around us. Yeah. This is one of the most important ecosystems that we have in our planet, yeah. the mangrove forest. Yeah. Well, anyway, shall we? Keep yes, on. please. I'm so excited. Uh -huh. As I witnessed various wildlife in their natural habitat, I understood what Sabariman meant when he said that life itself is codependent, and true enough, the idea of it all was mesmerizing. You must be really sharp um, when spotting movements and whatnot in the forest. The creatures saw no reason to be afraid of us since we showed no plausible signs of threat. It really amazes me how these trees somehow know that, you know, there are other beings that... Look, look at this. Woo! That's amazing. Again and again, honestly, I, I don't know what species of fungus it is. Yeah. But for me, it's just look. Is there a reason you why know. there are others flies or yeah, the, the fungus might might have something that attract ah. all those flies, as you can see. Yeah. It reminds me of a building in Singapore called the Esplanade. <laughs> We are about to go on a night hike. I've got my flashlight ready, my insect repellent, and enough food and water for rehydration and recuperating. Kind of excited. This is my first time going on a night hike out here in Bako, hoping to see some wildlife tonight. I had never seen a spider up close before, even more so at night. This was very, very new to me. But one thing for sure, I've never felt so immersed in a tour before. It really was a breath of fresh air. Now, he spends much of his time researching and documenting his findings on these exotic creatures through his articles and photography. In addition to discovering his love for Mother Nature, he also learned that he had a rather unquenchable thirst for knowledge about her. We have reached the viewpoint of Uluasam, your favorite viewpoint here at the Bako National Park. And guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sarawak. You, I wish you could see my goosebumps right now. And wow, you make it to see, like you said, the vegetation and the wide, wide ocean, the horizon, Santubong, and this is just a completely different perspective of Santubong. Usually you would see it from town, and this is, it, it's, it's a lot bigger than you think in Santubong, but wow, Bako National Park, a place of magic. We 
on. Well, and also, as I mentioned, if you need to hold on my shoulder, yeah, you can rely on that. Sabari Man's love for the National Park is generational. His family service to Bako is now in its third generation. The Pearl of Southern Sarawak. I had such an adventurous time here at the Bako National Park. We went hiking, we spotted some wild animals and made a few friends. Now if you would like to take this trip, don't forget to visit www.asia.org.my or contact the Association of Sarawak Inbound Agencies to book your professional trips. I am Ara Bird. This is Stories from the Heart, Bako. See ya! Spectacular!